what's going on, mother cluckers? All right, guys. It's a countdown to turkey day. Countdown to getting a seatbelt ticket, too. Ah! So how's everybody doing? <clears throat> uh, go ahead and comment. Let me know where you're from. I'm curious to see where everybody's from that's watching the, watching the show. So... Whether you observe Turkey Day or not, I hope you eat good. All right, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Idaho student murders. So, and thoughts and prayers go out to their family, friends, and family. And the whole university. Um, so, what do you guys think about it? Do you think, because uh, I know that boy and girl, the, the boyfriend and girlfriend, they were at a sorority house or something like that. And the other two girls, you know, they were at like a sorority party. The other two girls were at a club. So guys, my question to you <clears throat> is, do you think it's someone at the uh, that was at the uh, sorority that the boyfriend and girlfriend was at? Or do you think it was someone at the club where the two girls were at? Or neither? Now, speaking of neither, I've got to touch on this. Which I'm getting some weird, weird vibes because there's not really and and I don't know I guess I guess they've come out and said that they are not they've been you know I, I guess I don't know uh, I've not watched the press conference in a while now, they're supposed to have one today actually they're probably having one right now as I'm talking so it probably ain't doing me no good to talk about it and then <laughs> it's not too good to do a uh, recording and talk about a, a crime while they're doing a press conference but like all the other press conferences that they, they probably ain't going to tell much anyway um, they were saying something about I guess the 911 caller was one of the uh, roommates But they're not. I guess they're not suspects, person of interest. But at the same time, you've got FBI or former FBI people saying that um, There may be something on that 911 call that is very beneficial to this investigation. What do y'all think? Next thing I want to talk about is with this happening. Do you guys feel like it is a a random act, or do you think it was uh, targeted? 
you think they were targeted or is it random? Because in the Debbie Collier case, they was real quick, real quick to come out and say that she was targeted. It was personal. And it ended up being a suicide or an, maybe an accidental death due to whatever she was doing. I'm real cautious right now. As because the cops come out real prematurely and said Debbie Collier was targeted, it was personal, and then here we find out that that wasn't the case. So I'm taking a little bit of what the police say with a grain of salt. So do y'all think they were targeted by someone they knew or was it random? Do you guys think it could be a roommate that done it? I mean, I know what the police have said, but do you think Oh, here's one, guys. It could, uh, could it have been, you know, the roommates were there and they were unharmed? Could it have been a friend of those roommates that may have done it? Never thought about that. That just hit me. Maybe they had a friend over. And that friend of the, the roommates that survived was the one that done it. And next thing I want to kind of go into is if you guys have kids in college, you know, that are staying in dorms or on campus, Do you feel pretty safe about them right now? I mean, if you think about it, guys, it's really, I mean, something like this happening. I mean, normally you have like an active pew pew or something like that. Myself, I've never heard of anything like this on a college campus. So how safe do you feel with your kids being at college right now on campus? Does this affect how you feel with your kids being there? Do you feel like your college is a very safe... And here's the thing. The University of Idaho is a safe college. You just got some whack job that went and done something really batshit crazy. That's what I think. Overall, I think the college is safe. It's just... Um, I, I feel like it's somebody that they know or if it ain't like someone they know like you know what I'm saying uh, remember when I said it could be a friend of the roommates that survived like an acquaintance that's what I'm trying to say and sometimes acquaintances you don't really know you just met them you know them through someone else. So I guess that's what I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> My voice is trying to go out, guys.
Next thing I want to talk about is the community. <coughs> I mean, they're saying that they ain't got no suspect, no persons of interest. The community's freaking out, asking the police what they should do. I tell you what I would do. Of course, I mean you, you don't real I mean all you have to do is pass the all you have to do is pass the background to get one. But, you know, I'd definitely go and, and uh, purchase something that would, uh, you know, help me survive in case something bad were to happen while I was out in town or at home or something like that. Get you some real good pepper spray. And, uh... Uh, well, you know, one of them things that you need to get a background check for. That's what I'd tell everybody. I'd be like, we're just going to fall back on the Wild West rules until we do have a suspect, person of interest, or someone in custody. Somebody tries to do something to you, let them have it. We'll ask questions later. But make sure your life's in danger first, you know what I mean? I mean, there's a difference between someone knocking at your door and you blowing holes through it and someone kicking the door in, you know what I mean? I'm more likely to uh, start the lead fly if... Uh, somebody kicks my door in versus beating, beating the hell out of it. You know. And pepper spray's come a long ways too, guys. Hey, some pepper spray I'd really hate to get a hold of. <clears throat> Make your whole, well, I'd say it'd make your, I was going to say it'd make your whole day bad, but if you got hit with some of this stuff, it'd probably make two or three days bad. It'd probably take you two or three days to get over it all the way. Woo! Pepper spray's come a long way, guys. And man, that stuff will, you can get stuff now that'll shoot out like 15 feet. Good. Well, you can get bear spray. There you go. Hit somebody with some bear spray. Yeah, they won't ever kick your door in again. <laughs> they're going to be like forget that house but I mean that's what I tell the community you know the war work until we have a suspect or <clears throat> person of interest or someone in custody we're just going to fall back on the wild west rules and you protect yourself and be vigilant and we'll ask questions later if something happens But again, I really think that this was an isolated incident. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Um, Cause the reason I'm saying it's probably isolated guys. And again, I could be wrong. is why at that moment in time and why those four people and that's the reason why I think that it was just an, an, an isolated I really don't think in my opinion the community is at risk but at the same time, 
if you do have to be vigilant and take care of yourself. I mean, you got to do that anyway, this, this day and age anyway. I mean, Lord God, I mean, you go to Walmart and be attacked getting in your car out in the parking lot. I mean, you could be at the mall doing some Christmas shopping and all hell breaks loose and, you know, lead's flying everywhere. And I mean, it's, it's not like it was 30, 40 years ago. You got, you know, the C word that's affected a. I do think the C, the C word is really, uh, you know, everything ever since 2020. Uh, I think it has done a number on a lot of people's mental health. And I, again, I don't, I don't think there's enough resources out there to keep up with it. I mean, there's resources out there, but um, I mean, it's probably like trying to get an appointment at the doctor's office. Well, you know, you call in and say, uh, I think I need to be seen. I, I, I really feel like, you know, and people's mentioned it. I'm having, I feel like I need to talk to uh, somebody about my mental health. Well, Lord, it could be a month before you see anybody. I don't, I don't know how these things work right now. But I mean, what do you do if you feel like you do need to get your mental health evaluated? And they're like, "Well, we don't have any openings for a month. Can you come in December twentieth?" can but I may not make it till then <laughs> other people may not make it till then you know what I mean guys I just you know are they do they have their hands full That's kind of what I wanted, you know, someone wanted me to talk about the the stuff going on with the uh, Idaho student. So, here it is. Here it is. So, do y'all think it was uh, an isolated, targeted attack? Do you think it's random? And why do you think it? There you go. Tell me what you think and why you think it. Do, do that, guys. And again, I think it was isolated. I think it's an isolated incident because why at that moment in time and those four people? Nothing before and nothing after. Of course, I don't, I don't think Idaho's had any uh, quadruple homicides since they've been in existence the University of Idaho I don't think they've had quadruple homicides before this and nothing's really happened after and whoever's responsible it makes you wonder uh, if they end it because they don't want the punishment coming of what they're going to be getting or it's just bothering them too bad they'll probably end up being uh, they'll probably end up being a missing persons report coming out soon if they don't find a suspect or person of interest they start getting close there there might end up being you know someone going missing you know let's say uh, let's say my 
cousin Billy Bob done it, and it's, you know, Billy Bob's like, oh, oh shit, they're getting close to me, or it's bothering him or something, and he decides just to, uh, you know, go somewhere out in the middle of nowhere and end it. Well, I'm going to eventually report my cousin Billy Bob is missing because I ain't seen him in a couple days. I ain't heard from him. You see what I'm saying, guys? The person of interest or suspect could end up being a missing person here soon if they end it. So that's something to keep an eye out for as we uh, look forward to look in the future to this investigation uh, and look forward to finding some kind of resolution to it. Because um, that could be very well how this plays out. Someone could end it that done it. You know what I mean? So... But yeah, I think if I was a community, whether it's an isolated thing or a random act of violence, uh, I would definitely, I would definitely take matters into my own hands. You know, definitely go get me some uh, bear spray and and something else to protect myself with if you if you feel like you can do that some people don't like stuff like that well then just use the bear spray I guarantee if someone come after you some you hit them with some bear spray it's probably gonna give you a long time to get away from them because they ain't gonna be able to see you they're gonna be too worried about snotting all over the ground and spitting and Ah, crying like a little baby. So tell me what you guys think. That's my uh, that's my show today. Just figured I'd hit. You know, someone asked about doing a my take on the uh, Idaho students thing there, and you know that's my take on it. So yeah. Definitely drop some comments. Let me know what you think. I guess I'm going to get off here and uh, go home. And I got to go pick up some lawnmower blades. I got to mow. I got to mow. I got to mulch some leaves. Uh, so I'm going to go home and watch the uh, press police press conference. See what they got to say. I'm curious though, guys. Could it be someone that the roommates knew that were still alive? And I'll see you on next video.